In this Rhino Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can model this project. As you can see, it's a simple rotating wall coming up. And we're going to talk about how we can control uh, the number of divisions, as you can see here. We can control how many uh, levels are going to be fixed. So you can see that I can decrease or increase the number of the uh, surfaces which will not rotate. And also, uh, the ending panels, which you can see here, is also explained uh, how many you can also fix at the end and do the rotation. So this is going to be a simple tutorial uh, of how you can rotate a panel wall based on this uh, example. And this uh, project is, as you can see here, the Brick Curtain Office Freaky Studio. And I'm going to also put this link in the description. So you can also check this out. So we're going to do this as an exercise. And as you can see here, we have also that image rotating. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. You can see that the, there are panels which don't rotate. Then we have the rotation and then we have the stop thing. So, okay, let's just go to the uh, tutorial and start from scratch. Uh, for those who are new to our channel, I'm going to put uh, two tutorials up here. One is about what is Grasshopper? If you don't know what is Grasshopper and you want to know more about it and the difference between other softwares, the next thing is the Grasshopper Basics. If you're a beginner, uh, I encourage you to watch that tutorial. It's a one hour tutorial and will help you through uh, our other tutorials if you want to learn more about Grasshopper. And at the end, I'm also uh, announcing that we have a course if you want to learn more about Grasshopper because we're going to put uh three to four tutorials each week in our course you can also uh, check out our uh, our course lessons right up here if you want to know more okay so let's just go to the starting of this project and as you can see i have uh, produced that uh, this wall in rhino this is not really hard for those who want to know how you can make this you can simply just uh, draw the lines of this walls assume that we have to produce this one just for an example and then you can simply type slab and define a distance for the slab so let's just make this 0.5 or maybe one and then we can just simply define the way you want to offset that and then you can just bring this up so this is also a way you can use this and if you want to bring this a little bit higher you can just use the control shift and select this one and bring it a little bit high okay and the next more, uh, uh, most important thing is that if we want to work with this uh, we have to import that let's just put the bifocals plugin in we have to import that as a b-rip and that's going to make our work a little bit hard so we just need this Okay, let's just zoom in. We just need this surface, okay? So we don't need the other poly surfaces. So what you can do is to simply explode that and set that as a surface. So you can do the surface instead of the B-Rep, set this to the surface, and here we have the base surface. So why am I using this? Because we can produce those panels onto this surface, and then you can also bring that up if you want to change that. Okay, so let's just... Uh, turn everything off uh, except this one. Let's just turn this off. And you can see that I have this surface. Okay. Uh, to make those surfaces into panels, we can go to the surface utility and use the ISO trim. Again, uh, we have talked about ISO trim in different tutorials. And I'm going to put a related tutorial, maybe related to this isotrim thing up here, if you want to watch it. Okay, so let's just do that and bring the isotrim. And we have talked on that tutorial that you have to combine the isotrim with divide domain 2. So here it is. I'm going to use this divide domain 2. And we've talked about this, that we can divide the domain of the surface into UV count. So let's just turn this off turn this off okay and we have to give a number maybe between 2 to 12 for the u and v count i guess that the u count is 1 so we have to start with 1 okay that's the u count so you can see that we don't need 
different divisions here. So we just want to divide this one into one section. If you just put that to two, it's going to give you two sections. Then we can divide the V count. So we can increase that and uh, increase the number of the panels. Let's just increase that by double clicking and increase, increasing those numbers. Okay, the next step is to simply just rotate these panels uh, along this edge. So what we can do is to simply type rotate and go for the rotate axis. So here we go. And before we want to use this rotate axis on this surface, uh, we prefer to go to the surface and use the deconstruct BREP. Uh, by doing this, you will just explode the surface into the faces, which is this one, into the edges, which are four, and into vertices. So if I just go in, you can see that we have 17 surfaces, each 17 groups, which is basically this one. And if you don't know about the groups and want to know more about this, I'm going to also put another tutorial up here which is about flattened graph and those things if you want to know but for now uh, we want to uh, take one of those edges which is this one and do the rotation around that so the face is basically one that's okay we want to rotate this one as the geometry and you can see that this is the base geometry this is the angle which is in radians and we prefer to put that into degrees so we can right click and put this to degrees so we can control that easier and the next one is to define the axis so if we go to the edge we have to extract those edges and select the edge which is this one and you know that this is the command item and the command is list item which just extracts an item so let's just do that extract the edges uh, you have to give a number to this index if you want any edge but the simple one is to put that into zero and that means the first edge I guess which is this edge and then just zoom in and put the plus on this one so we have the first edge the second the third and the last edge so if I just give this to any of these axes you can see that this is uh, let's just give this an angle maybe 25 degrees you can see that it's rotating from this edge this one is from this edge the second one you can also use that if you want to rotate those panels and the last one is from that edge okay so let's just put that into the second edge which is this one let's zoom in and let's increase that the number of the divisions okay so now we have to play with this angle so the first step is to define uh, those panels which we don't want to rotate then we want to okay we have these panels we will not rotate then we want to rotate these panels up here and then stop from the three at the top so I'm going to define two numbers here one is the panels down here which we don't want to rotate and the next one is the panels up there which we don't want to rotate so let's just give this a number if we have 24 let's say we want from one or from zero panels to six maybe we can just change that later let's say that's the start then we can say from zero to maybe 10 we want that to the end and now we have to make that rotation thing okay so this is going to be the trick we can use here if we want to rotate that from zero this is going to be zero zero let's just type this in if we have the zero here and we say that this is three we have three zeros so that's the list zero 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 then the list starts for rotation so we are going to use the range tool which will rotate and I guess I have to put also another tutorial if you want to know more about range up here which is really cool if you want to learn from the about the range thing okay so then we have to start the rotation maybe it's starting from uh, 10 then 20 uh, 30 and up to whatever we want and at the end again we want those zeros starts all right and as you can see this is the way we control that so let's just bring a range between this one I'm going to type a range 
if you don't know about the range, watch the tutorial, which I put in the card section. And then we want to define a domain. That means we want to rotate these panels from something to something, right? So we have to define that. And the best way is to go to mathematics and use this construct domain tool. So let's just give this one and say we want to rotate that from zero to 90 degrees. Maybe we want it to start from 50 to 120 with two decimals. So we can just increase the number. Okay. So what's happening here? We want to define that four of them will start from zero and three of them will start from zero at the top. And the rest is going to be four plus three. That's obvious. It's going to be seven. And then we have to just uh, decrease that from 24 to have the range of that. So let's just go to the math. We have to go here in the addition. Or you can simply just have two subtraction, whatever you want. So let's just say 24 minus four. And again, minus three. That means that we have 17 blocks we want to rotate. So this is the most important thing and the number we want to give to the steps. Let's just give that to the steps. And you can see that's from maybe zero to 90 degrees. And you can see that it's dividing the zero and 90 degrees into the steps we said. But we need uh, 17 blocks, right? The uh, okay, the range thing always adds up one number, okay? So because we gave this 17, you can see that we have 18 numbers between 0 to 90. So we have to make this 17. It's really simple. We have to make this x minus y1. So let's just go to the steps, expression, x minus y1, and we're good to go. You can see that we have 17 numbers in the range. Okay, we have to make four zeros at the start and three zeros at the end and you can do that with repeat and that is repeat data okay and we have to say repeat data what is the data we want to repeat we can say zero and let's just repeat this one okay we gave this a zero and we gave this four so we want four zeros that's it okay and now what we have to do is to combine this four zeros at the start with these numbers so i'm going to go to the harms menu and use a number here because we have numbers and combine them with a shift key and now we have zeros with that rotation okay another thing is that if i just connect this you can see it's going to rotate everything again watch the flatten graph uh, tutorial which I put in the card section, we have to make this a graph because we want to have those in groups. Okay, here we go. So you can see that we just repeated those panels and let's just turn everything off. This is tutorial is going to be easy. You can see that it's really a short algorithm, but you can use that for anything. So let's just delete this one. Okay, these are the panels we are dividing. Just remember you have to control those numbers in front of that four and three. Okay, this is the panels we don't want to rotate. This one is the number of the panels we want to stop at the end. And this is the rotation of those panels. You can always control that surface or make that surface in Grasshopper, but for now we can easy, just easily have this one. And let's just bring this up. If you extrude that, Remember, you have to explode it before you insert uh, insert that into Grasshopper. So let's just make that an explosion. And now we can make that surface. Okay, and you can see that the rotation goes there. So we have to maybe change the number of the edge. I guess that it's going to be the three, right? And if you just want to make that into another way, I guess that you have to go into the analyze direction and flip the surface. No, it didn't rotate that. So I guess that we have to change that with the edge. And if we rotate this one, we can see that this is the way we had to rotate that. So I guess that the analyze direction didn't work and that's it. Okay, so now we can use the control shift again and move that edge up and down if we want to just control the height. Bring that a little bit up. 
then just hide this one play with those numbers if we want the right thing change the rotation maybe we want 90 degrees uh, control the number we want to start and at the end also and now we can also extrude that so let's just extrude this simply in the normal direction and you can that you can do that easily by connecting a vector from the params menu to your surface that's going to give you the normal direction and let's just go to the math and multiply that with a number so here we go and we're good to go so we have to give this a number and connect that to the direction so you can also define the extrusion and we can simply bake that to produce those panels so you can see that in this tutorial how easy it is to produce these panels rotating controlling the number which with a zero uh, degree rotation at the end also and uh, make the wall something similar to this you can also put the patterns as you can see here maybe just simple patterns just uh, uh, multiplied on this surface you can do that with maybe launch box or just simply make this pattern once and then put that on the surfaces but that's not really related to this tutorial i want to show you how you can uh, use grasshopper to make rotating units and control that you can also use that technique for buildings towers and so on okay thank you for watching and uh, please like this video comment below what do you think uh, how was the video was it really easy or was it a little bit, a little bit hard and also subscribe to our channel and see you next time